shooting in Maryland this morning. Two students were wounded when a classmate brought a gun to school and opened fire. The shooter is now dead. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi is in Great Mills, Maryland with the latest on the investigation. Well, Rick Rudebay, two students remain hospitalized this afternoon. One girl in critical condition with life-threatening injuries and a boy in stable condition. And meanwhile, the gunman, as we mentioned, died of his injuries this morning, about two and a half hours after the shooting. Shots rang out just before classes began Tuesday morning at Great Mills High School in Maryland. When it was all over, a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy were wounded, and the shooter was dead. I had walked into the school and I had heard three gunshots. And after that, that's when everybody was running outside and people was texting. They was like, what happened? What happened? A school resource officer is credited with potentially saving lives when he confronted the shooter. When the SRO fired, uh, the suspect, uh, as described to me, fired almost simultaneously. It's unclear if the shooter, identified as 17-year-old Austin Rawlins, took his own life. Detectives are investigating whether the armed teenager targeted his female victim. There was a relationship prior to this event, and so to the extent of how that shaped this event, that's what we're going to have to determine. Investigators say the shooter used a Glock semi-automatic handgun. The ATF has put an emergency trace on the weapon. 1,400 students were evacuated from Great Mills and bused to another school where they are being reunited with their parents. We have to check every one of your children to make sure that they are okay. Great Mills High School will be closed Wednesday. Officials aren't sure when it will reopen. Well, as we mentioned, authorities say the gunman and the 16-year-old girl, one of the shooting victims, had some sort of prior relationship before the shooting. Of course, authorities are now looking into how that prior relationship may have played a role in the gunman's motive. In St. Mary's County, Mola Lenghi, CBS 4 News.